Have you ever been debugging a page in the browser and you notice CSS rules showing up in DevTools that appeared crossed out that you couldn't modify or alter, but they appear like they're applying to your page? Even if you try to track down the style tag or the style sheet where it says the rules are coming from, you don't see them. Has this ever happened to you? What are these ghost rules? Where do they come from? Why do they exist? And how can we work with them, troubleshoot them, and debug them? So today, we're going to explore that a little bit. So here I've got a website, and it has a style tag on it. So let's find the style tag. I'm going to say, let's style equal document query selector style. So now we have the style tag, which this site uses for its styles. If we peek inside, we can see all of the rules that are the text content of this style tag in DOM. We can also, using JavaScript, get all of the rules as objects. So I'm going to peek inside this style tags sheet property, which is the CSS style sheet object. And inside of it, we can see all of the parsed CSS rules. So this is the CSS object model. Um, this is kind of like DOM is to HTML. This is to CSS. So we can also stringify this using a helper function um, to see these are the parsed rules from the CSOM being output as strings again. So another thing that we can do here is we can add a CSS rule to that stylesheet object. So we're going to add it to the stylesheet and let's say universal selector background line. So now we can definitely see that the rule has been added, the rule applies, but when we look here, uh, it, it'll apply to the body tag, we don't see that showing up as it should. And here it is, but we can't change anything about it. Um, even if we were to look inside the style tags text content, we don't see this rule showing up. It doesn't show up uh, in DOM. It doesn't really show up properly in the dev tools. Um, what's going on? So there's the style tag. We can find this rule by looking through all of the CSS object model for rules that have a value that includes the word lime. So here I get back a list of style sheets. There's one CSS rule, and it's the one that we think it is. So even though we can't really modify this with our dev tools, even though we can't really troubleshoot it or see it in DOM, we can still use JavaScript to access it, find it, let's manipulate it, and see what happens. So if I were to process every rule that has a value of lime, and to that rule I'm going to say set the background color to hot pink, we can see that this is a rule that JavaScript can work with. We can update the values. When we hop back over to our dev tools, we can see that it updates to hot pink, even though we still can't really modify it, even though it still doesn't show up in DOM. And so here's another thing that we can do. We can take the style tag, we can set its text content to a stringified representation of its own style sheet object. So now when we do this, you see that all of the rules from the CSS object model, including the one that we've added, now show up in DOM. They show up inside the style tag where they ought to, but it's still a little bit funky. We still have this problem going on where it thinks it's crossed out, it doesn't know what's going on. Uh, this is confusing, but we can still work with it. Um, we can entirely remove any rules that have a value of hot pink. Now that rule is gone, and if we peek inside the text content, it's still there. So this disconnect happens both ways. Whether you add rules with JavaScript or whether you remove rules, it doesn't necessarily update the DOM. Uh, so we still have this rule showing up that doesn't exist anymore. Um, 
So you can't trust what you see in DevTools here. This is not the complete picture. This is just the CSS that existed at the time that HTML was parsed into DOM. It doesn't actually reflect styles that may have been changed, may have been added or removed with JavaScript at any point since the page loaded. So again, to set that back, we can update this with the current representation of the style sheet. The deleted rule is no longer visible and everything that we see here should be interactive and applicable. But as more and more websites include more and more dynamic styles coming from JavaScript, uh, either they're going to have to update how this inspect element DOM view works, or they're going to have to make this a little bit smarter or more powerful. Uh, in the meantime, if you really need to work with CSS, and it's important for you to be able to know exactly what rules really exist, and be able to filter them, find them, manipulate them, uh, add or remove them, uh, your only access to the CSS object model right now is JavaScript. And thankfully, it's actually a really powerful and really fun way to work with CSS. So that gives you all the troubleshooting and debugging power that you need, even when you're faced with ghost styles that are coming from mysterious sources.